Hi and welcome back. So time to check my biological age again using my last series of blood test results. They were taken at the 39 month point of my NMN experiment. Enough waffling off me. Let's get into it. Let's take a quick look at the supplements I was taking for the three months prior to this blood test. NMN, nicotinamide mononucleotide, 1.5 grams per day. Trans resveratrol, 1.5 grams a day, but only on Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday. TMG, trimethylglycine, again 1.5 grams per day. Vitamin D3, 10,000 international units on Sunday and Wednesday and 5,000 international units every other day of the week. Vitamin K2, 120 micrograms of the MK7 version. Magnesium, 250 milligrams of the L3 and 8 version. High molecular weight, hyaluronic acid, 200 milligrams per day. Fisetin, 2.4 grams a day, but again only in the first, second and third of each month. Cursetin, 2.4 grams a day on the first, second and third of each month. Aspirin, 81 milligrams per day. And DIM, if you look at my last update video, I'm now taking 600 milligrams a day of that. Um, this age test was taken using the blood test that I had after I'd stopped taking um, berberine for three months and before I'd started to take metformin. So no, nothing here which was supposed to control my blood sugar levels. Well, that's it for the supplements that I took for the three months prior to this biological age test. So this is the website longevityadvantage.com and there's a link in the description below to this online calculator. Once you get on this page, you scroll all the way to the bottom and you can see here they're going to ask you for nine blood markers to be uh, entered and it doesn't matter what measurements you've got because they will take account of those and they ask you for your age as well and that's the, the age of your last birthday. Um, so the last time I used this was June 2022. These are the results from June 2022. My chronological or my birth age was 58. My phenotypic age, you can see 54.41 and I'll put up what phenotypic age means. And my phenotypic age versus my chronological age then was minus 3.9. My DNA methylation age was 53.57. And my DNA methylation age versus my birth age was minus 4.43 years. So that was in June 2022. Let's look at my latest set of results. You can see here my chronological age is still 58. My phenotypic age, 53.60. My phenotypic age versus my chronological or birth age, minus 4.40. So that's a reduction in age of 0 0.81 years from June this year. My DNA methylation age, 52.80. And my DNA methylation age versus my chronological age, minus 5.20. So a reduction in age of 0 0.77 years since I had it done last June. Now, I know these are only a snapshot. And both my phenotypic age and my, uh, my chronological age and my DNA methylation age versus my chronological age have improved as they did last time. My current phenotypic age and my DNA methylation age both have me at roughly between four and a half and five years younger than my chronological or my birth age, which again is an improvement on the test I had done in June 2022. Moving on, let's look at biologicalage.com. Now I show this test because even if you can't get a blood test, this is the way that you can gauge your epigenetic age. And there's a link in the description below to this website also. Uh, very easy to use. You can see here that you just go through a series of questions. The first one asking you what your birth year is. Um, and then you just go through answering the questions. And obviously I urge you to answer the questions as honestly as possible. Um, that said, it is difficult sometimes. You can't, they don't ask the question in a way that you can actually answer it. So I'm hoping to get to it. Here we go. Uh, alcohol. Do you drink per day? Zero, one, two, three, or more than three? Well, for me, I, I drink at the weekend. So maybe two or three drinks per day at the weekend. But I don't drink one drink per day because that will put me at seven. So I can either choose zero, but what I tend to do is drink uh, select one because then that, although it's calculating seven, when actually I would probably drink more like three or four, that's going to drive my epigenetic age up and hopefully spur me on and other people who will 
will answer in this way to actually get their epigenetic age down. So that's that's the way you use the site. Very simple. Uh, in June 2022, when I was 58 and two months, it said here you can see I was 47. So 11 years younger. Nice, but I don't think too accurate. This time I took the test on the 7th of October uh, when I was 58 and six months. And it says I was 48. So 10 years younger. Again, good but not too accurate, but at least something that I can use to go off. So I am four months older than the last test, and it looks like I've reduced my, my age by one year. And this is not obviously as accurate as the normal algorithm that actually uses blood markers. And you can see here, it also gives some very generic statements. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day, and I agree with that. Uh, I have my breakfast at noon. I think they're talking more about breakfast uh, when you first wake, which is what the cereal company that invented the statement, not a doctor, or a nutritionist actually meant. Um, eating five servings of fruit and vegetables every day is a good idea. Again, I don't know if that's scientifically based or it's just um, good advice. Highly refined and deep fat foods are a sometimes treat and should only be eaten occasionally. I agree with that. No issues whatsoever. Do push-ups every day and again, not bad advice. So that's it for bio biologicalage.com. So at the time of my last blood test, my chronological age was actually 58 and six months. Longevity advantage have my DNA methylation age or my biological age at 53.60 years and that's around five years younger. The less accurate biologicalage.com had me at 48 which is 10 years younger which I think is a little bit unrealistic. I think we can all agree that a specific DNA methylation test similar to the Horvath clock is going to be far more accurate. However I would avoid companies like epiage.com who only test against less than 20 markers. Look for companies that test against hundreds of thousands of markers for a more accurate and more cost-effective option. Here in the UAE, I still can't send blood or saliva samples through the post, so I've still got to rely on blood tests um, that are done online, as the two you've just seen in this video. So I hope you found that interesting or informative, hopefully both. And if you've had a blood test done in the recent past, then why not give Longevity Advantage a go with regard to um, working out what your biological age is, what have you got to lose? Um, if you haven't had a blood test done, but you'd like to do it, then look at biologicalage.com, the online questionnaire. Uh, as I said, you need to be brutally honest when you give the answers because you're only going to cheat yourself and you should err on the side of negativity if the question doesn't quite fit what you do. Uh, this will hopefully drive up your chronological age and, and, and get you to try and do things about bring in your chronological age down. Well, that's it for today. I look forward to seeing your comments in the comments section. I'm quite happy with the results. I'd like to know what you think. Um, as my chronological age, as everybody's does, continues to creep up, it appears as though my biological age is standing still, or in this case, is slightly moving backwards from what it was three months ago. Um, that's all for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. As always, please take care, stay safe, and I will see you soon. Bye for now.